Hello guys and welcome to a slightly different video today. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be discussing the red champion point tree because I thought this would be quite an interesting topic for me uh, to present to you guys from an experienced player's point of view as in the end, in my opinion, this is the most important tree to get right in terms of your play style in Cyrodiil. So the only reason that I even thought of discussing this was me and Shay had a bit of a debate about how we best see this. And I thought I'd share my opinion on the topic on how to actually set this up on different classes. So just to set this off real quick, this guide is going to be for if you are min maxed in your champion points. And I'm also going to explain some passives that will be key to hit on certain classes. Some sections that are key for certain classes, but are clearly totally useless on others. And I think that's what we'll start with. So first things first, two key numbers for you to remember. Well, 20, three key numbers, four key numbers, I guess. Anyway, those big numbers for you are going to be 27, 37, 40 and 56. And the reason that those four numbers are very key for you is they are going to be for your healing classes or your shielding classes. And in my opinion, when you are setting up your red tree, those are bread and butter for your build. So the healing CP I'm going to quickly show you reaches all sorts of weird scaling. So when we first apply points to there, we need to apply four points to get 1.2%. When we apply three more, we get a generous scaling and it actually goes up to 2%. So that essentially means that going up to seven is giving us per point a slightly better value than putting just four points in there. That's irrelevant anyway, because this scaling starts to stay pretty even. So four points, four points, four points, four points, and four points, 27. So there's that first scaling point all of the way from zero to 27, apart from that seven point mark, is four points per gap. And for that reason, 27 is a key number for you to remember for a healing CP, as if you are gonna spec for healing, you should always have, in my opinion, at least 27 points in there if you choose to put any points in there. Now, there may be some builds where you don't choose to be there, for example, shielded CP, but in my opinion, 27 is a great spot to go. Now, we're gonna go a little further here, in that any class that lacks healing heavily, Magic of Decay, you get five points per. So when we get up to 7%, we go one, two, three, four, we're 7.91%. And if you haven't seen my CP guide, it always rounds down. So we need to put one more in there and that will get us to 32. But the same scaling is true all the way to 37. And so you're gonna wanna to go to 37. After 37, it scales very harshly. And so you start seeing six point jumps to 43 and 49, which in my opinion are not worth it compared to taking resistance. So. For low healing classes, 37 points are key in quick recovery. And for high healing classes, I would go for 27 or even as low as seven if you really have to. But I would say 27 is very worth the points. It's a good scaling and it's a powerful tree, especially to help counteract heal debuffs, which scale really, really strong. That's that one. So heavy armor focus in the world of PvP, truly I would never put points there. Expert defender until next patch, I wouldn't really bother putting points there. Next patch, that's going to change a little bit. Um, my best advice to understand that is to watch any of the build videos I've released label Somerset. I do go over that one, so I'm not going to cover that in too much detail. But essentially, in the current patch that I'm making this video for, Dragon Bones, the damage is not that high from light attacks to really be worth the points over other trees that will also affect light attack damage. Now, I did mention there were four numbers. The next two are going to be applicable for Bastion. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to empty my Ironclad CP, which I'll come back to, and we're gonna play around with this in the Bastion. So, when we start putting points here, you can see two points gets 1%. Now that actually rounds down to zero, it's useless. So make sure you're getting an, an X point X percent. So 1.01 .01 will be 1%, 1% will be 0%, and that's true for almost every tree. So as we work through, you can see some heavy scaling. There's nothing that's really close until we reach 13 points for 6.1%. That's fantastic. It's not that important. There's not many classes where 13 points is going to be key. The only class where that might be valuable would be Magic Warden, where both healing and shielding are likely to be mechanics. But most of the time, we're going to go a lot further than that. So we're going to imagine we're building for a shielding class, at which point shields are going to be your tankiness. And we're going to go all the way up to our first brutal point, which is 37. Now, how we did it with the quick recovery is I showed you the gaps between the scaling. So the reason we go 37, just to show you this real fast, is when we start at, let's say, 23, which is 10.2, two points, three points to 26. 
Two points goes to 28. But then it's again three points 31. Three points 34. Three points 37. You don't stop there, however, because three more points gets you to 16.02 and you get the number 40. This is your first healthy scaling point for Bastion and where you're going to get the best value out of your points for shield. So 40 points, good number to remember. Now we can keep going a little further here because after three points scaling, we're going to get four points scaling. Now this will go very high. So we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, since it doesn't round up. 52, 1, 2, 3, 4, 56. And that is where your final scaling is going to come. Because now we add four more in. 1, 2, 3, 4. We need that fifth point. And that is where it gets a bit harsh. The only time I would consider going higher is going to be to the number 66. Which is going to be key for very heavy shield stacking builds. Um, I would not advise that very often. I think my Magic Talk on occasion I will do that. But most of the time, 56 and 40 are going to be your numbers to remember here. Now... I did say I'd explain this in quite some detail. So the reason that we need points in Bastion or Quick Recovery is these are your lifeblood. You're going to need a heal and you're going to need to shield. Be it one or the other, you're going to need to do them. So points have to be spread between these two depending. They are going to be key to your general survival. However, they are only going to reduce... In fact, I'll save those points for now. They are only going to reduce those damage. Uh, so they're only going to up the sort of damage response you get so when you take damage how can i respond to that damage how can i survive afterwards what's more important in general is to lower the damage you're actually taking in the first place and that is what we're going to cover next so let's move on to the next tree so the next tree is going to be the lady and this is going to be about your sort of basic hard resistances and what i'm talking about with that is your direct mitigation to all magical damage, all physical damage, and all damage over time. And this is going to be key in comparison with the tree I'm going to discuss afterwards. So I might bounce between both of these trees in a second. Now, one of the key reasons that this tree is worth points, in my opinion, and is worth points in a good spread, is because all of these sources of damage are always going to be present in Cyrodiil. There's always going to be some magic damage, there is always going to be some physical damage, and there is always going to be a fair bit of damage over time. You need to try and work out for your class what is going to be most applicable. Now, I have covered that for all of my builds, to the best extent that I can. But for the sake of this video, I'm trying to help you guys be able to do this yourselves. So I'm going to go over some good scaling points to remember for this tree. Now, again, keep in mind that I've got 66 points that I've scrounged from this tree. This tree is also going to be important. So what I'm going to do beforehand is I'm going to quickly disclaim a few trees. Light armor focus, medium armor focus, and spell shield. For the sake of this video and the sake of PvP, you're pretty much always going to ignore these trees. In PvE, slightly different, because in PvE there are some environments where, for instance, crit resist is obviously not really applicable. Damage from direct sources may not be applicable if you're never actually taking aggro. And so, generally speaking, these can be useful there. But from a PvP perspective, which is what this is targeted at, these trees are not really going to be worth the points that you're going to be able to put elsewhere. So we're going to skip all three of those. And that is going to give us the Lady and the Steed with Ironclad, which is going to give direct damage reduction. Resistant, which is Crit Resist. Elemental, Defender, Hardy, which are Physical and Magicka. And then Fixed Skin for Dots. And I'm going to make this a little simpler. I'm going to split this into two groups. So Ironclad is going to be for direct damage. And fixed skin is going to be for dots. These are going to be what I call damage sources. And then crit resist, hardy and element defender, I'm going to call damage sources. So these are two different genres of reduction and I'll go over each in turn. First things first, direct damage. What kills you more than anything else in Cyrodiil? Burst. Simple as that. It's what's going to kill you. You need points in this tree and they need to be generous. Now this scales exactly the same as Bastion. So if you do sort of understand what I'm going on here. You could skip this perhaps. Um, but essentially speaking, go back to Bastion and see the way I scaled this. That is the reason you're either going to go for 40, 56, or 66. In the case of a Dragon Knight, I generally go for 56 or 66. It can change a bit on my other classes, but I believe that for this build in particular, 66 is the sweet point. Why? Because after that, any more points invested in here are extremely ungenerous. Because let's imagine that I was to move 10 points from Crit Resist into here. 
Well, as you can see, eight of those points are gone. I've only gained 1% more reduction. That's eight points or seven points, sorry. I can't count apparently. Seven points are gone and that's it. That's all we're getting. Seven points go in for 1%. That is so harsh compared to what we're losing in crit resist, which would be a good 300 crit resist nearly. 66 is a number I would not go past very often. And I think that that's where you want to go with Ironclad for a tanky build. And often you may even want to go as low as 56, especially if you need crit resist and dots. Speaking of dots, that's going to be our next one. So the reason that dots are so important is that dots will go through a lot of your mitigations. Bleeds go through every mitigation. They ignore your resistances. They ignore your block. They ignore the lot. So you definitely need points of fixed skin for them and them alone, if nothing else. But the reality is that there are a lot of other dot sources as well. And every single class that plays this game will have in their build somewhere dots. Even build, ridiculous burst builds like Stan Warden, Mad Talk, there is always going to be something in there that classifies as dot damage. This points scale very, very generously. And so there's a few numbers again that I'm going to tell you discuss. So for the sake of the video, I'll take these points out and we'll apply them accordingly. So first number to remember is going to be 20. Because when we go to 20, we can go back and it is two points scaling. However, after that, we go up to three points scaling all the way up to 26, where we go to, bam, 28. So 26 to 28 is only two points, and that is why 28 is the first awesome number to put your points up to, because we're getting excellent scaling per point. Now, this will vary a little bit after this, because you can then put three to 31, three to 34, 3 to 37, and 3 to 40. You get the point, it's the same as Bastion. However, you need to also consider here how many sources of dots are actually what's going to kill you. Because, for instance, my Magicka DK build at the moment runs 30k health, more than that. So dots, although they're going to cause a lot of damage over time, are not likely to be a significant problem to me compared to, for instance, a serious stack of crit damage. Now, this can always be liable to a bit of change for me, but in my opinion... I am worth stopping at either 37 or 40 here, not always just 40. Any more than that is going to be a bit of a waste because we start to get that harsher scaling. And at that point, I'll explain in a sec, we are going to be better off doing Hardy and Element Defender. So let's shove these points back in. I'll actually go a bit like this for the time being. And then we're going to take out the Crit Resist. So for those who don't know how Crit Resist works, approximately, and this is a huge estimate, correct me if I'm wrong, 75 crit resist is, in fact, I could do this exactly. So 3,300 crit resist is 50% crit mitigation. So let's divide that quickly by 50. We know that 1% crit resist is 66 crit resistance. That is 1% crit resistance. Now, something to remember with crit resistance, which is why, although it's excellent points, it's not a matter of life and death compared to some of these other trees, is that crit resistance mitigates the damage done by crits. When you hit something and you crit, you get 50% more damage. Let's imagine briefly that I do a 10k dizzying swing and I crit. That will be 15k. This crit resist is going to take a percentage of that extra damage away. And that is really, really valuable because in PvP, although crits are not going to be rampant as PvE in terms of the build, they are going to be what kills you most of the time. So... Although this tree is great, it scales very, very harshly. Now, as you can see here, if I go up anywhere, let's take some of these points out past about 40, well, I'm only gaining about 15, 18 crit resistor points. So I'm having to get sort of four or five points for just a tiny bit of mitigation in terms of crit damage. That doesn't mean those points are a waste, but you do have to look at the points and think, can I spend these better? The answer is yes, you can. And the reason is these two trees here, because these two trees are underestimated by some for value, by me, full value achieved. The reason that these trees are so good is because they reduce flat damage from every source. Now, a key thing to note here is obviously it is only magic and physical damage. So elemental and physical, but they do reduce dots. They do reduce direct damage. And so they're doing what fixed skin and hardy ironclad and crit resist all do in one tree. Now these scale like the healing. So if you do want to go back in terms of the healing CP to receive an explanation for that, that would be a good explanation of why I go to 37. But anything past 37, you want to look at your sort of spread in general to fix skinned, crit resist and direct damage 
in general because at that point it starts to scale pretty harshly per point and you're going to be better off investing into things that although don't reduce everything do reduce a valuable thing. I think that covers this to a decent extent so obviously that is a wave of information my biggest thing to go away with this video is when you are making this tree understand your key values I've gone over some of those numbers for you and just try not to overstack certain trees because you're going to get way way tankier by running optimized CP, you're probably going to gain somewhere between 5 and 10% free damage mitigation. I mean, that's a ton. If you're stacking into trees that are not worth it, if you haven't got this valuable spread of data, you are going to sacrifice so much damage reduction, which is going to be a huge difference for you in PvP. I hope this was useful. If this was useful, please let me know, because I'll be able to make one for the blue and the green tree CP as well. But in the end, like I said, this is the most important tree to get right, because if you get this wrong, you're going to regret it. Good luck with the champion points. I hope this was useful. I'll see you in the next video.